have to repeat the program notes, or else we kill trees for nothing. Um, so, but I want to tell you a little about uh, this piece. The title is a bit, must be a bit puzzling, The Giant Guitar, and it actually could be titled South America. Uh, the Giant Guitar is, I, I written it, I wrote it, uh, for the John Faleta, it was a commission uh, guitar competition, and it opened that uh, concert. And I'm actually very honored that I also uh, get to open this concert and this new season of Michigan Philharmonic. Um, if you look at the map of South America, it has, and you stretch your imagination a little, uh, it has the shape of a guitar. So you, you just disconnect it from Central America, you put it like this, and the Andes are actually the strings, they're not very centered, but nothing is centered in South America. Um, all I wanted to do with these pieces, um, in a way, through South America, when, uh, give tribute to the instrument, the guitar, but to me, is the symbol of Latin America, and when I think, when I hear a guitar, I always get nostalgic. I haven't been there in 35 years. The, the piece is very short, so it's very compact, and it moves very fast. When the piece opens, you will feel you are in high in the Andes, and there are, you hear these uh, Andean flutes called kenas. imitating the guitar sound, and actually the piece begins with the open strings of a guitar, uh, which the, har the harp is imitating. The strings later become a charango, which is a little guitar relative uh, of the Andean uh, ensemble. After that, things, there is a dance, and things start getting worse. When I left back South America, it was the, the middle of uh, the Dirty War, if you know that from history. It was a civil war, lots of people died or were disappeared or had to leave the country, so you, you hear also these um, in, at the end of the piece. And if you close your eyes and pay attention, you will hear people screaming. Shots and cannons, and you will hear a police siren, and at the end... So it's a very short piece with, um, that tries to describe probably too much. So be alert and enjoy it. Thank you. <laughs>